in high definition. This is CBS 2 News at 11. Steve Holcomb always had a dream to win Olympic gold, but those dreams were almost dashed because he was going blind. Then he got a second chance thanks to cutting-edge eye procedures. CBS News' Lisa Siegel talked to the man with the gold medal who now sees a clear future. Definitely heavy. <laughs> Would you call it America's medal? Yes, yeah, it's America's medal. I mean, it's, um, it's just, I don't know, there's so much support from everybody. It was a moment 62 years in the making when the U.S. took home the golden four-man bobsled, the driver, Steve Holcomb. It was pretty incredible. I mean, we've been working so hard to get to that point that, uh, you know, to finally come across the line and just see everybody celebrating was pretty overwhelming. It was something Holcomb dreamed of since he was a boy. Race after race, it was the ultimate goal. <laughs> this is video from last year's World Cup in Italy. It's been an incredible road. I don't see it slowing down or stopping anytime soon. But it almost didn't happen because of an eye condition that was causing Steve Holcomb to go blind. Keratoconus. It causes the cornea to bulge outward and blurs the vision. And it gets progressively worse. So about three years ago, Holcomb retired from the sport, told his coaches he was done. It was, became a safety issue. Uh, I've got three guys in my sled that, um, you know, rely on me and, you know, put all their faith in me. You know, if I hurt somebody or, you know, God forbid, I, I killed somebody because of, um, because I couldn't see, you know, I'd never be able to live with myself. Although he tried glasses and contacts, even LASIK, nothing worked. His vision was still getting worse. Twelve different doctors told him either they didn't know how to help him or he'd need an invasive cornea transplant. That would have kept him out of the sport. Still, his team, those around him, including his coaches, believed somewhere out there there was a better option. It's going to be a little bright here. Holcomb was flown to California from his home in Utah to meet with eye surgeon Brian Boxer Walkler. I was very hopeful and excited to be able to have an opportunity to help him realize his dreams. And the doctor knew instantly he could save Holcomb's vision with two non-invasive procedures that would keep him bobsledding. To cure the keratoconus, C3R, a vitamin application and light treatment that stops the cornea from bulging and stops the loss of vision. Next, an implantable contact lens behind the iris to fix the nearsightedness. The difference was clear right after the first procedure. You wake up with kind of basically a second, second chance at what I love to do. You know, it was uh, life in high definition. All of a sudden, I'm back in the sport. And for the doctor, it was overwhelming too. He was there when Holcomb took home the gold. From being at the edge of the abyss at one point of darkness to going now to the top pinnacle of what his dreams had always been about, I was overcome with emotion. Everything, which just looks wonderful. Holcomb's vision is now better than 2020. He hopes for more gold in the future, but knows he's already won so many times over. Basically a double gold medal. I mean, it's, uh, it's been pretty crazy. Vancouver 2010. Yeah, so. And you can see this clearly now. I can. I can. Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News. Uh, well, Holcomb plans to go for not one but two more Olympic medals. He also wants to spread the word about his eye condition and the treatments available. For more information, go to CBS2.com and click on Seen on TV. Congratulations. That's a marvelous story. Got to check in right now with Johnny.